Hello there, it's Anthony O'Shaughnessy and I'm a chef and cookery teacher based at Leeds Cookery School and Jamie's Ministry of Food in Leeds. And I'm working with Zero Waste Leeds to give you plenty of tips that you can employ at home to beat the food waste. Now in this clip I'm going to talk all about milk. So milk is something that we easily overbuy. It's a country that loves a cup of tea. It's always nice to have a few pints of milk in the fridge to help you sleep at night, am I right? So it's something which we buy way too much of and if you don't drink as much tea as you expect, you might have a few pints spare. Now what I can recommend with milk is to really keep a check on the use by date so you can work out how much milk you've got and how long you have to use it. So it really gives you plenty of space to plan and think of recipes to use it up. Now my first suggestion really to use up any excess milk is a rice pudding. So a rice pudding often uses an awful lot of milk. A standard recipe will probably use about a litre of milk, uh, perhaps with some cream as well to make it rich, and often a bit of sugar and of course pudding rice. So I do recommend making a rice pudding, it'll get rid of a lot of milk and it gets rid of it deliciously as well. Now what you can also do is you can make something like a bechamel sauce, you can make a huge quantity of that which often again requires a lot of milk. You can also make a custard as well which often requires a lot of milk too. So things like custards and bechamel sauce, um, you can freeze them down and it's a really good base for a lot of dishes. Bechamel sauce for example, you can use it in a lasagna. You can also use it as a base for many pasta dishes such as a macaroni cheese. Um, and also things like custard, you can also freeze it down and get it out for something like a custard tart or even a, a trifle. Now these things freeze down brilliantly, you can freeze them for three months and again just to frost them, if you ever make a lasagna or a trifle, they're always there on hand. Now what can you do with milk when it goes sour? So sometimes milk, either before or after the use by day, can go sour unexpectedly. Now when milk splits, you have to use it straight away. It is still possible to use it once it goes sour um, because basically what the milk will do is it'll separate into two parts. You'll have like a sort of cheesy curd stuff and almost like a clear juice. Now when that happens, the milk is still safe to use. I don't recommend putting it in a cup of tea, but you can still use it in recipes that will require milk. So things like pancakes or certain cake recipes um, and even things like soda bread actually it tastes much better when you use sour milk. It gives it a much nicer texture, lovely and soft and also gives it a nice tangy flavour. So you can absolutely use sour milk in those recipes. However, the sour milk, you have to use it within a couple of days of splitting. After a couple of days, actually, the milk will start to decompose much faster. So once it splits, you have to use it within a couple of days. But I hope that's a really good tip for you to use, and I hope it helps you save on uh, any milk waste, or save it going down the drain. So I hope you enjoy those, and, and take care.